The coop is finally finished. Now here is how we did it. everybody knows what he's done he's got a piece of rhubarb um, the metal he's got a bar on this side and a bar on the other side and then it's running into like a big O thick running board on either side so he's pulling from the bottom and then we picked up the chicken coop and moved it over so he has more room and then we'll just pick it up and move it back and then we got to cut some of this off he keeps going no issue no problem <laughs> Yeah, okay. This is the part that makes me real nervous. He's trying to move the shed. Oh! <gasps> it's moving. movement guys <gasps> yes yes yes
So we still need to put a little door here and put some chicken wire over this window. But they've got lots of nesting boxes. And then we'll end up putting a rack here for them to climb as well. But here is the new chicken coop. So uh, this project is finally, finally finished. It was one of those projects that just got bigger and bigger and took a whole lot longer. Yeah, this project started out as just a brainstorming event and then we're like, here we go. <laughs> so we are very proud of each other. We stuck it together on these last two hot, miserable Sahara yes. Desert days. Yes. Literally tonight was pretty freaking hot, even for an August hot. day, I'm surprised. <laughs> but we did really great. We succeeded in our goal of getting this chicken coop done. I'm very, very proud of my wife today. She looked like a champion cutting wood. She yeah. Pretty attractive, I'm not gonna lie. But so, anyway, <laughs> uh, this project is done. We are super excited. We want to say thank you to Jason and Heather for um, giving us this coop or the shed and letting us turn it into our new chicken home. Yes, thank you again, Jason. Uh, we, we are very fortunate to come across this. Thank you guys for all your help and support. It means a great deal. Uh, we are very proud of this accomplishment. It's something we'll always cherish and, and, and remember the rest of our lives. But more importantly, what this is is a foundation for us. You know, no matter how big the project, how small, we know that if we can put up with the challenges <laughs> of the kids, that anything is possible. Just like you guys sitting at home, our viewers, our subscribers that are watching, uh, we thank you guys again. But, you know, take that initiative, take that first step, believe in yourself, work hard, and, and if you have a dream or goal with, with your little homestead or whatever it is, from urban to rural, you know, reach out to friends and family. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you, but challenge yourself, you know, do it. Get out there, perform, and I'm telling you, when you get done, the end result will be fantastic. Yeah, so thanks for joining us today, as always. Take care. And God bless.